Hello, my name is Eleanor Barker. I have just returned from spending a year in Heidelberg studying Germanistic. I obviously was immersed in German culture, but I also found myself surrounded by people from all over the world. Within my community, German and English were the lingua franca languages, and I was completely taken aback by how little, to be honest, I knew about English as a foreign language. As someone who speaks English as a mother tongue, there are so many things you don't think about. <laughs> For example, I live with a Polish girl who was learning English um, as well as German, and she would often come to me and ask me, why do you say this? And why do you say that? And why is the grammar like this? And I was just completely shocked to know that I just didn't know the answer to any of it, which was embarrassing, but also, <laughs> really really interesting to then go away and think about why it was like this and made me fit into the shoes of someone who didn't know English as their mother tongue and I think this will be really valuable to the editorial team at Deutsche Welle because through studying German I've learned to be able to look at English through the perspective of someone who doesn't necessarily have English as their mother tongue. Ich glaube, dass Journalisten derzeit mit vielen großen Problemen konfrontiert sind. Ich denke, die besorgniserregendsten Probleme sind aktuell das Recht der Journalisten auf Pressefreiheit und die Verbreitung von Missinformationen und Fake News sozusagen. Also die Sensibilisierung für Pressefreiheit durch Advocacy, Kampagnen, Aufklärung, die Öffentlichkeit und die Herwoberung der Bedeutung von Pressefreiheit in der Demokratie ist wirklich sehr wichtig. Die Bekämpfung von Fake News ist keine einfache Aufgabe, aber der Weg konnte auch mit Technologieunternehmen zusammenarbeiten, im Algorithmen zu entwickeln, ähm, die falsche Informationen erkennen und ihre Verbreitung vorziehen können.